and now we have the segment which is made by you for you and it's from you it's called mcq that's my crypto queries we have rohas nagpal chief blockchain architect high five blockchain joining us and we have your queries as well first is from mayank he's asking is luna safe to buy now <laughs> no not at all i think we must now let that project go i don't think there are any chances of it rebouncing yeah because the blockchain is halted and a lot of people are still thinking that you know since it's so low probably that's a great time to buy it and that's why i think this question is also there in fact you correctly mentioned the blockchain is halted and that is never supposed to happen blockchains are supposed to be decentralized but here it has proven to us that it is totally centralized that one authority can actually shut the entire chain so i don't think we should try to get back into it ross you are a blockchain expert if you can give us a brief uh, knowledge about uh terra's blockchain and what does halting really mean sure so when we talk about a blockchain each blockchain has multiple nodes so sure. a node could be run on a normal laptop or on a server and the more the number of nodes run by different people the more decentralized we call that blockchain so that no single entity or party can actually stop the chain that is supposed to be the basic logic behind blockchain right but now when terra comes and says we have halted the entire chain it proves to us that a very small group of people were running that chain and they could shut it down at any time in fact that is the same allegation coming against solana also hmm. when the entire blockchain went down for example for 18 hours at a stretch that is never supposed to happen okay so it has shown us that terra has been extremely centralized and hmm. i don't think we will ever trust it again right the essence of it is gone so hence it's halted arshi asked will luna really revive no i don't think so I, as even on this show every time we have discussed that i have never been in favor of algorithmic stable coin and we have discussed that in due time all of them do fail because the technology is just not at that level hmm. so no in my mind it will not revive so all luna queries are done now rf's question what do we know about code coin uh, so actually there is something called code coin but it is a completely failed project so i would say stay away from it there is no data available the chain doesn't seem to be working anymore there is no updated information available so it is one of those 10 15 000 projects that has completely failed okay gitash kas how is celr ah that's a good question so celr is a blockchain bridge so to give you a very simple example in india we use rupees in singapore we use singapore dollar so when an indian travels there he can buy singapore dollar and go now what happens in the blockchain world is on one blockchain only the tokens of that blockchain are accepted but if you want to transact in a different blockchain you use a bridge and that can allow you to transact across chain and that is what celar network is it connects 20 different blockchains but on social media right now many people are saying that it is a rug pull so mm-hmm. i would recommend for now stay away from oh okay so there is note of caution there on that which is celar now last question from farooq which is give me some info on thunder tron uh sure so actually there are two which is thunderverse and thunder core but again both those projects have totally failed and by thunder core is like a blockchain evm compatible but both these projects appear to have completely failed so i would again say please stay with them okay i have my last quick question uh, you know there's overall sentiment about the market which is not very great what would you like to tell the investors at the moment because of course the market is jolted and and we have seen the terra terror as well uh, i think in most for most of the cryptos which actually have solid use cases i think the fall is now kind of almost over Hmm. but the projects which don't do much and they are just like ponzi schemes i don't even think most of them will rebound so i think this is a good time for us to understand what projects are now not going to come back and please focus your energy on only on the top projects which you are very convinced they are having solid use cases hmm okay thank you so very much rohas for joining us on this show and this segment